Hi there, I'm Alex D. Uh, let's finish this. Okay, what I see now is uh, our materials folder name. This is where uh, the game will look for materials that will look for textures elsewhere or in the same folder if uh, you so desire yeah that's that's what any normal person desires actually so that's everything is in the same place uh, <coughs> okay so uh, burn okay uh, do I have uh, Somewhere an nail tech. Yeah, I have a nail tech here, but no normal. So yeah, I'll just um, find it elsewhere then, in here, for example. Nail tech, nail tech lens, nail tech, nail tech, nail tech, copy, uh, striker paste and we are not done yet because uh, well we can already refresh but something changed it now applied fong some of it to the attack but it doesn't see it because we haven't changed anything here yet it still refers to the m1014 folder but we want to use them from the striker folder this time that's and that's for the lens as well oh. uh, copy paste paste save now we can refresh and we have it now textured okay uh, that's step one what we you might have noticed that I have camo folders in there. What it does is um, it uh, uses a different color map. Uh, well, it keeps using the same normals and uh, everything else. Uh, but it now uses a different uh, color map from another another folder. Why and how it does that? And that well, that's simple actually. Uh, we'll copy our folder now, name it camo, delete. Uh, well, lens. We don't need that. Delete normal maps and keep everything else now we have two materials and two texture files uh, let's add the camo here let's add camo there and let's actually make a camouflage texture this one woodland let's save it with the same name striker d Okay, where is it? Here, yeah. Copy there. Now, well, <coughs> we still have an extra step to make. Well, we can close that for now. Uh, we have prepared our camera folder already, but we have not prepared our compile yet. What we need to do now is to uh, make the camera folder a pri a priority over the normal folder. So if it finds uh, materials in this folder, this is what uh, the game is going to use. And if it doesn't, it keeps looking further, and uh, it uses these ones, the base ones. Well, you can also uh, notice that some uh, compiles uh, have this, so uh, that's probably done uh, so that if there 
are no folders named like this, it will just search for it in materials because it's materials, select the model, blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah, like that. It's materials and then it goes elsewhere. Yeah, but uh, I don't use that. I don't know. I have not yet encountered uh, why should I? Uh, but okay. Uh, now we can compile again. It's gonna be a hundred of compiles actually. What we have now is okay. Let's um, rename it to no camo so that it doesn't look for it. Uh, we can actually name it yes camo and it still won't look for it because well, uh, it is going to look to camo, not something else. Uh, view as replacement. So if we, well, I have done several mods like this already. If we uh, download a base mod, it will look like this, kinda. And uh, when we download a camouflage add-on for an add-on, it will actually read the material from the camouflaged one. Here it is. <laughs> well, it's mirrored, but, but okay, that's... No. I really need to remove that piece of shit. Do I not? Yeah. <coughs> I think I will. Okay. Uh, close, please. Demo mesh. Elements. Let's just remove this. So we are going to lose a, a good part of the camouflage over there, but that's a price for the lack of the clipping. That's a, that's a, ra a rather noticeable clipping in there. Okay. All right. Um. Done. Yeah. Now. Let's save. Export. We will recompile this later. Same name. Done. Let's save again, just in case. Um. Well. We see it now camouflage, but if we disable, yeah, disable the camouflage, uh, it will still look for this material, and if it doesn't find it, it will just be an a wireframe. Yeah, and that's well why you sometimes need to restart the game if you mess with your add-ons. We don't want this, well, unless it's an add-on which features actual wireframe models. That's if that's your thing. Yeah, okay, uh, we can now, well, close that, we don't really... Uh, what else? Yeah, we can close that. Um, let's view it again as a replacement without camo. Uh, center view. Let's see the attachments. Well, by attachments, I don't, ne I don't mean grips and uh, sides. I mean these kind of attachments. Now, like the flashlights, the muzzle flash, which is in the same place on this one. Muzzle flash, shell eject, well, shell eject is there, but, well, it shouldn't be, well, there's also a shell. Okay, I'll, um, maybe I won't tell you something you don't know, maybe I will, perhaps I will. Uh, well, shell is the actual shell ejection. Uh, muzzle flash, attach muzzle, and... And attach shell eject are uh, all part of uh, the muzzle flash um, guides. We have this amazing guide by Mr. Von Real. Weapon attachments guide for custom weapons. And it shows uh, where your shell ejection should uh, go. 
and flashlight and laser. In the view model, it can be uh, this, and the world is this. But, well, that's just wall things, I guess. But okay. Muzzle flash. Yeah, in this guide, Mr. Funreal explains what every of these does. Smoke, traces, and actually muzzle flash. You can, uh, if you have a suppressed weapon, you should remove muzzle flash. Uh, or maybe keep the muzzle flash, but um, remove it from the sequence. I'll show you later what it means. Uh, so you'll have tracers and smoke, but you won't have an actual fireballs coming out of your barrel. Show a jackpot. Alright, I think that's... That's a guide you should read if you are planning to do mods, really. That's... Uh, well, I didn't know that these... Um, uh, these three are one and the same. Yeah? That's actually... Really cool. That's that explains quite a lot. That explains why the default weapons have smoke coming out of ejection ports instead of barrels after rapid firing. So that's that's a good find. That's a good find. Okay. Now we don't want to um, smoke out, come out of thin air. We want to come out of there. Oh, no, we want smoke to come out of there and shells out of there. Yeah, that's what we want. That's what we want. Okay, we'll move. Uh, we'll move it somehow. Okay, let's cut this for a while. And uh, so red is X. Y and Z, Y, Y, I keep calling it Y because Latin, I guess. Nah. So X is 160. If I do it one, it gonna move like this. Yeah, great. So I'll keep it 160, I guess. And I want to move it up. Minus one, yeah, good. And uh, down, so it's not two, it's one. One, two, okay, it's zero point eight. Yeah, something like this. And rotation, the same rotation, so the shell falls in the red, the red, I think, direction. Yeah. Oh, where's the guide? Uh, ejection. View model right side. Red line up. Blue run. Blue line right. Huh. Blue line right. No, it's it's wrong. It's gonna like this. It's not okay. Zero zero zero. Uh, how are we going to do that? Uh. There goes our experimentation again. Almost. No. No. Yeah, that's that's what we want. Blue line right, red up. Red line up, blue right right. <coughs> right side view metal, yeah. Thank Mm-hmm. T. I. Right. Okay. Uh, we might be a bit more original and uh, actually rotate it elsewhere, but... Nah. Let's just shell. Oi. Nah, not that. Okay, we actually have this one already done. QC string. That's amazing, is it not? We can just re replace the entire string like this. 
remove the extra zeros if you want and save don't forget to save all the time okay now flashlight we it comes out of the barrel in this mod do we really want a flashlight on this where could we possibly fix that on this part of the barrel no I think not that looked okay on the mono Wi-Fi 3 model because it has a longer barrel so you can actually attach stuff on that uh, no, I think I just leave uh, the striker without a, a flashlight whatsoever so it just comes out of your face. Maybe it's a headlight. Yeah. Okay. We'll just remove the flashlight by either deleting the whole string or we can keep it for later use. We'll just command it out. Uh, these things mean that whatever comes on this line after these two slashes is uh, irrelevant. It, it is not taking into account whatsoever. It co it's called a comment. If you want to comment uh, out more than several lines, you do like this, slash, asterisk, asterisk, slash. And whatever is between these is not taken into account. If you uh, uh, only do this opening part, Whatever comes after that is not taken into account whatsoever. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Lump position. Well. Okay. Whatever. Uh, muzzle flash is uh, okay. Muzzle flash is okay. Yeah. Muzzle flash is okay. It's it's in the same place as the uh, reference, so we'll keep it that way. Except we will actually move this over there so it has some smoke. It has some smoke. Model flash, just just copy that and move it over there. Why I am copying uh, J gun as well? It's because uh, sometimes it uh, can be attached to the main bone of the gun or the sub bone like. Uh, muzzle ejection uh, what do we have any anything like that here like crippler re release etc etc okay whatever <coughs> so yeah we'll just paste it over there so that all three of these are actually in the same place why are they separate attachments ask valve uh, okay, now, now, what else? Okay, we fixed the attachments, bones, 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 uh, what do we have here? Uh, shotgun, load shell, load shell. Huh. Item pickup extend. Odd. We have an entire deploy sound for that. Uh, let's make it fade in zero so that there is no blending bit between the idle animation and the deploy animation so it starts all right oh, we'll do the same for fire layer at least uh, yeah also I'm gonna remove the custom particle event effects like <coughs> Lee sparks pistol all this I don't really care for uh, well maybe you do but I stopped caring 
after I got some complaints, especially when I used the uh, uh, SA80 animations for my uh, MTAR, and it had such an impressive fireball, it blinded people and myself, I have to admit, but now I just keep the default muzzle flash and uh, this shotgun shotgun shell in this case yeah well if you have uh, a uh, silenced suppressed weapon you can just comment out the muzzle flash and you will have no muzzle flash you will have traces you will have uh, smokes but no actual muzzle flash so since our stacker is not suppressed we are going to keep it we don't really need uh, events over there we don't really need every anything over there, but okay, it it was in, in there, so let's keep it. Uh, we'll have to check uh, if Crowbar breaks uh, delta sequences over there. We can fix them. Uh, actually, actually, I was going to replace the melee uh, animation completely. Okay, now this one is, is has, has to have a fade out zero. Uh, loop is probably going to be zero zero, maybe maybe not, and fade in zero. Yeah, that's correct. Yep, fade out. A loop. Let's make it zero just in case and retract. Yeah. Well, okay. We got that taken care of. Let's save. Uh, deploy. Oh, the shotgun deploy. Uh, reload speed. We'll have to. If we want to make this just like a default one and to make it uh, work uh, great online. We'll have to know our animation times. In this case, we are moving this past 12 to the Benelli, and they are slightly, slightly different. Slightly, 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 slightly different. These, these numbers are what I got by recording in, well, then it was fraps, now it, it is action. Uh, how many frames pass between uh, the shell counter updates. So the chrome shotgun and the wooden pump shotgun are the same. <coughs> so uh, uh, 15 frames at uh, 30 frames per second. It's half a second for each shell. That's how the pump shotguns are reloaded. But Benelli and uh, the SPAS-12 Benelli, SPAS-12 are uh, reloaded Well, the SPAS-12 is reloaded faster Suck it Yeah, that's that's Valve, right? And, uh, well In one case it's uh, uh, the layer animation that uh, uh, enforces uh, its uh, length in other cases it's it's not or oh, it's so really it's such a headache to uh, so I kind of made this file for future reference okay what we want to do now is to make sure these animations take as much time as they do by default. We are going to check how long are they in the model viewer. Like this. Uh, let's start with deploy. It's 30 frames per second and it's 32 frames so it's just slightly longer than a second but it uh, does make kind of a difference because the default deploy animations are 
29 frames, well, if you count the frame number 0, it's 30 frames. And like this is 30, 33 frames uh, at 30 frames per second. Not much of a difference, but it's a difference. So uh, that's some... Um, I don't know if the game actually counts the first one. Well, frame number zero, I mean. Actually, that's not much of a difference. But if it says 32, let's see what, well, 29 frames at 30 per second is this many seconds and 32 is these frames per second. Okay, yeah, you'll just uh, set 33 frames per second for these animations, especially for non-layer animation. A layer is what we see, what we hear, and what we hear is this, auto shotgun deploy at, at number 15. No, I wanted to at the very start, at the first frame, first and not zero, for some for some reason. Oh, that's zero, by the way. That's one. Muzzle flash appears at uh, frame number zero, and uh, I mean, I guess that's a frame number. I don't really know, but I guess that's a frame number, and that's definitely a frame number. Yeah. So here, sound at the first frame, at the second frame, technically number zero is number one, and number one is number two, and, and so on and so forth. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. 34 frames. Save. Great. Perfect. Uh, well, fire animation, well, it's irrelevant in this case. It can be as fast as we want it to be. It's alright, I guess. Uh, merely that's a story for another time. Now, reloads. The first shell loading is uh, 53 frames long. It's played at a rather high value. 53, yeah. Uh, we want it to be like 20 frames at 30. We want it to be this long, and it's 53 frames long. It should be faster than that. It should be 79 and a half. Reload start. It's 79. 79? Yeah, 79. Uh huh. Okay. Now loop. Loop. 33 and uh, it's going to be much faster now 2050 well 2050 I know what it is but it's easier to have everything done via a calculator already uh, 32 frames that's pretty easy to actually 80 frames much faster than what we have so this striker is reloaded much slower than, well, at least than the Benelli and the Spass, since it's actually reloaded faster. So yeah, that's gonna glitch a bit online and uh, be an annoyance if you host. Save. <coughs> now, reload end is mostly irrelevant for this. But if we want it to be, to look the, just as fast as uh, everything else, we are going to, well, we have 79 and a half and 80 here, so let's do 80 here as well and be done with it. It doesn't matter how long this animation is, you can, I don't know, at the end of the reload you, you can have your character completely disassemble the gun and reassemble it 
again uh, I mean you can fire as soon as you have reloaded at least one shell you don't have to pull balls or whatever like it's done in Left 4 Dead 1 or, or in Call of Duty games where uh, trying to fire while you're still reloading just a, a bots uh, at that point and you don't instantly fire a shell okay we did this 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 is okay uh, now I said we are going to fix the melee animation yeah well this is going to be fun I guess if anything I'm doing here is fun to you at least well, what we're going to do now is uh, reset everything. We don't need that. We want to find our QC and make another copy. That's why we didn't change that, because we just want to have uh, a source available with us at all times. We'll call it import. That's what we are going to import in. 3ds max now we can delete every animation we don't need what we do need what I need is uh, melee and then deploy animation after it or rather one of those if they are any different I don't think they are different okay so we are going to keep melee uh, not layer probably. Melee and retract, which is similar, if not identical, to deploy animation. Why is that? Is that because when we import this into our 3ds Max, it's going to import uh, the reference as the first frame, and then sequences we have here just in case let's extend our animation time so that it doesn't get cut off or something now we are going to import our new QC file well, let's get rid of that already okay that's frame number zero that's uh, this is already the melee animation hop and this is the deploy animation what I want to do is uh, huh, we didn't have to extend our timeline really we can keep it at 80 or something oh I did a press cancel on that okay so uh, our character makes a swing with his empty arm and then redeploys his shotgun uh, without having it teleport to back to your hands in a rather <coughs> Um, ceremonic manner okay now what we want to do is export this from frame uh, from frame 1 to frame uh, I'm going to have something disappear in a certain frame Hop. to frame 62 export and now we'll have to be careful we need not reference reference is our mesh our model our gun our well it's it's the model sequences uh, whatever is we are going to animate from frame 1 to frame 62 yes yeah, 62 and we are going to put it in the animations folder and call it melee um, 2 
Yeah, file save. Okay, now it's 61 frames long if we don't count frame number zero. By default, melee animations are 20 and 21 frames long at 30 frames per second. It takes this many seconds to complete. And uh, if we try and do this, well, we'll have a lot of frames per second. Let's make it just as fast as uh, melee 2. Now, look at this, melee 2. I don't want to make a layer out of it. I don't want to mess with delta. I will just remove all of this. Yeah. And I'm going to fade in. Yeah. And frames per second are going to be 80, just like on my reload animations. Yeah. I think that's okay. Uh, what about uh, hand extend? Uh -huh. 20 frames at 30 per second. Well, that's obvious. Oof. That's obvious. And how long uh, this animation is? This animation is 32 frames long. 32. I need it to be as oh well that's close enough it's close enough but not too close you can never be too close you can never be too close I don't have to change that but I uh, want it to be as long as my deploy animation yeah do I? Since I don't see anything in the loop animations, it just disappears out of my hands. I don't care how fast it is. Okay, what have we done so far? Fixed the sequences, removed uh, the custom particle effects from uh, the fire layer, and uh, I think that's all we need now. Fix this. Added camera support. Saved. Okay. Idle. Uh well, let's let's recompile already. And let's Ah whatever. Let's close this. We don't we're not going to need it anymore. Let's recompile and see what we've done so far is in view you are the placement okay now we don't have this um, structure over there yeah we don't have it so how do we look like now much faster not not horrible actually well, what's going on? I am. What about layers? Layers. Well, well do we have any uh, odd layer animations in there? Well, we have. Ah, deploy. Deploy. It subtracts some corrective animation. Let's see if it looks alright. As you can see, it doesn't. Does it mean? It doesn't mean shit, actually. Uh, if we set a base uh, sequence idle and take the layer, oh, as you can see, it works. It works just fine. It sub sub well, delta sequences subtract uh, idle sequences, which in this case is uh, well, since uh, Crowbar seems to have another idea about all of this. It subtracts something else, but it does itself. Uh, well, it seems to, to work, but we will have to see it in game if it does. So far, it 
looks all right. Now we'll just have to see how our other layers. It's important to have, well, it's not too important to have layers, but if layers don't work and layers is what you will see, well, then you are screwed and have to fix something. In this case, it seems to be working. Yeah, it's first shell load, it's other shells, and it's the end, it's rather fast. But well, let's say it's a uh, <laughs> slate of hand perk or something. Fire is okay. Now let's see our melee layer. Isn't it great? We now attack with our hand and drop a, a gun back in our hands. At the end of it, we did it. Uh, I did it. Well, you helped, I guess. Okay. Everything seems alright to me. What's left to do is, well, sounds and testing in game, but that's not too interesting, really. We're not going to do that. I therefore declare this add on ready for playtesting. No clipping over there, and it doesn't look ugly either. So, yeah. Well, what we didn't do is the world model. I. I just wonder how ugly does it look like? Uh, don't say we don't need that. Um, import view model striker. Now we need weapon striker. Striker. Well, we okay. Let's see about the air attack as well. And what about the suppressor? Does it look as giant? Oh, it doesn't. Oh, of co of course. Well. Perfect, great. Remember, it looked like a giant. Well, it looked like as big as the actual strike. Okay, well, whatever. Why dwell on it anyway? Uh, what's this spike structure? It's supposed to be a winding key or something. Well, it has some holes in there. Okay. That's some kind of texture ID. Well, that model doesn't look too bad. Well, it does. But it's easily smooth. It's even easier to smooth than, uh, let's see, edit faces. Oh my. That's like two clicks to smooth, so yeah. Well, okay, let's. Um, it doesn't have a front side, or did I just ignore it? Ah, I, I just ignored it. It has an iron side as well. Yeah, that's that's where that's our iron side. Okay, let's pretend I smoothed all of this, and uh, I'll just quickly show you. Let's import the world mo model now. It's going to be our Benelli M4 Super 90 shotgun. Okay, let's delete this, delete this. What's that? This is what uh, is imported as the Valve biped, but that's actually the collision file, that's the physics of the shotgun. So this entire block, it's, well, you know what? A collision is, don't you? That's weapon bone. Well, if there's one, uh, if a single mesh is uh, attached to a single bone, then uh, this importer is going to make this mesh a bone and name it so. Yeah. So what we have to do now is, well, we'll import this now. None. Let's put just striker and foregrip, for example. Let's scale it. 
Uh, how much was it? 39 and a half? Well, it's not relevant in there because uh, we can have a different scale. Maybe the models themselves are different in scale or whatever. There can be many differences in there. 90? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, what we are going to do now is uh, make sure it's in the center. Yeah, in the center. And pretty much move uh, this trigger guard over this trigger guard. And hope it works. Oh god, it's giant, isn't it? It's huge. Let's rescale it to um, 35. 35, 35. It's still kind of huge, but. But it's better. Okay, so uh, we place it like that, kinda. Well, you could pixel hunt in there if you want, but I'm just showing you what you need to do. Now you just, if you if it's not a weapon with a magazine, then you just uh, wait everything to a single bone, which is the weapon bone. Now you'll want to delete. Uh, the reference, but you can't. It's a bone now. So you'll have this in your 3D Max. But when you export, it is going to become a bone, and that's your meshes. There is no Benelli mesh in there, so you're just gonna export this model as your reference. I'm not going to do it now. Because I'll have to smooth it. And that's not really fun to watch. I have showed pretty much everything I wanted you to see. So yeah, that's how mods are done, basically. You, you wanna do something similar? Are you sure? Maybe you should just grow up and wait till you're more proficient at using stuff because well uh, I started as a complete noob as well but well I today I take many things for granted like I just start the Desmax import stuff will I have already exported from the games I have materials done by somebody else and uh, pretty much did this a million times and I will do this a million times more and it will have the same formula basically so uh, maybe I'll fix some animations or whatnot yeah maybe I'll invent some stuff maybe I'll start animating myself someday which is going to be soon I guess but okay that's that's pretty much it that's pretty much it if you have any questions or whatever I might record another video of me doing a mod because why keep it a secret if I, if I can share it with you I can show people how I actually create stuff so uh, oh my tea is already cold Okay, we're done here. See you around next time.